Hey guys, this is Davey T from uh, Field Sports Scotland and today I'm going to talk about some of the rifles and some of the equipment I use. This one's just fresh off the hill. Uh, this is my 270. I use this a lot for deer management stuff. Um, I do get with this me up to scope, it's got a, a 4B reticle, so it's got a kind of a bullet drop compensating um, reticle on it where I can actually work out the distances. It's great. So the for instance, um, zero is at 100, next zero is, um, is, sorry, the next line down is 300, the next line down is 425, and it goes all the way, it gives me a good out to 800 yards, apparently, I've not tried it out to 800 yards, but I have shot deer recently at um, 281 to 300 yards, and my longest at the moment uh, with this, uh, over this year is 385 yards, so, um, I'll give you a wee run of the rifle. The rifle is a Tika T3. It's just a standard Tika T3 270. Uh, stainless steel. Nice light bolt, as you can see. Providing I don't drop it on the floor. Um, it does spend a lot of time out in the hill, as you'll probably notice there. I can show you some of the blood that's on it. I know I should have cleaned it up before. Uh, I've got a Stalin mod moderator on it. That's the W145 Stalin moderator. It's a really nice moderator. I, I think Stalin probably the best moderators you can get at the minute. Now, a lot of people go for expensive bipods. That is actually a very cheap bipod. I've had it for about three, four years now, maybe more. Um, and it's... It's £20 off of eBay, it's no name or whatever. As I said, we'll talk about the scope. It's the Miopta 4B Artemis 2000 with the 4B reticle. It's a 3 to 12 by 50 scope. And then um, the Seiko Optolock, um, Optolock mounts there, which is good. This comes as a three shot mark, so it's four shots with one in the chamber. Absolutely amazing rifle. And I do shoot a lot of deer with this. A lot of deer. My Browning A Bolt 2. It's got a very long barrel, standard long barrel. It comes with that. It shoots at 3,000. I shoot 100 grain through it. It's got a heavy trigger. It's about the three pound trigger, which is fine for me. The scope is a Yukon Photo on six by. 6.5 by 50 scope. Um, it's got a Debon bipod, a little bit more expensive bipod. Comes with a Natec moderator, not the best in the world, but because it's on the end of the on the rifle, it adds um, it, it does add a little bit of length to the round. This gets a lot of use. I've shot a lot of foxes with this, and I've shot a lot of deer with this. I always use a 100 game bullet on this uh, because of the fact that uh, the deer legal size of bullet for Scotland is 100 grain uh, and it's 243 obviously. It's a factory load I use. Talk about the ammunition a little bit. I really reload my own ammunition. That is a hundred gram Pro Hunter Lapua brass. Um, I use Reloader 19, um, 43 grain of Reloader 19. Most any of you guys have actually seen my um, my post lately. You will see that uh, it's running at 3009 to 3015. It's usually got an SD about uh, uh, 3.1. Um, I think 3015 was from Cold Barrow and then the, the other two rounds that I tested the other day there was a 3009 and they were dead on smack. So if I had maybe put another couple of rounds through it and it came round about the same, that SD might have came down. I think the first time I tried it with five shots was the SD was about 1.6 so um, I'm, I'm really happy with that load. Uh, I shot a stag with it the last week, absolutely gorgeous stag. Um, next shot at 250 yards, so it will pretty much drop anything in the spot. The Pro Hunter 
Uh, this rifle is a bit fussy on army ammo. The Pro Hunter head here is actually a Spitzer head, so it's flat back. It's not boat tailed, so um, and it's soft point. So it's one. Of, it's it's actually worked out. And in fact, for my 270, I use the exact same similar head, uh, but in 130 grain. And again, it works brilliantly. And you see the difference in the cartridge size. Zoom out. This is the Tika T3 X CTR. Um, mind the mess. Comes with tactical stop. You can replace the hand grips. I've put a Zeiss Conquest V6 2 12 by 50 scope on it. Absolutely amazing scope. Um, it has the SV return to zero locking turret. So I can mess about with it, not worry about it without being zeroed. On the end, it's got the smaller 110 Stalon moderator W110. As I said, I really love the moderator. Um, it, it really does make a difference to the rifle. It's nice and light. For being a heavyish rifle, tactical rifle, this is an excellent hunting rifle. My wife shot her, four, uh, shot her first roll back with this and it was absolutely phenomenal shot at 235 yards. 6.5 Creedmoor is its chamber. Amazing long distance round. It uses Sierra Game Kings. I got a lot of um, advice from my friends from the States. Um, who basically advised me a lot on how to uh, on what ammo to use and what ballistics so thanks to Gerald and Sam Delt for uh, all the information they gave me on the 6.5 and much to the hate of my wife thanks to Gerald for uh, turning me into a 6.5 uh, Creedmoor lover so because this is 6.5 Creedmoor Amazing long range rifle. I, um, we were messing about with it one day in the forest at 760 odd yards and uh, then I've had it out to my own little range at 550 yards and popped the. I don't even need to dial sometimes, you just hold over and it drops him in. It's absolutely great. Great rifle. So that's the big rifles that I use. Talk about some of the uh, some of the equipment that I used. Now this list, this little device here is the Kestrel Sportsman with applied ballistics. Turn it on for you guys. Now I got to use this in the States when I was over with Gerald Delk uh, at the Gap Grind last year. It pretty much does everything. It does windage. Um, it you can do wind calculations. It's got a little anemometer there that calculates the wind for you. Um, also calculates the range. This is set up for the six point five Creedmoor because um, it's pretty much the best. Right, it's got the better scope for long range shooting. Um, but I could easily set it up using changing the ballistics on that. So there you go on the Creedmoor, 237 yards is 0 0.85 on the turret. So that turret will take it to 0 0.9, which is great. It is Pulsar Thermal Unit. Obviously coming in out from out the cold, it's got a bit of moisture on it. That's my Pulsar thermal unit. I that's this is the XQ30F. I use this a lot for foxing. I also use it a lot for um, various other things, uh, counting deer, spotting deer, um, 
counting pheasants, various other things, all my day-to-day -day duties, even finding rabbits for shooting with the tutu. It's um, <coughs> it's pretty amazing stuff. Um, a lot of guys are moving to thermal now, especially for spotting, and uh, it's become a big deal. And it comes with a nice little carry kit case that's supposed to keep it dry. <laughs> However, I think it doesn't keep it dry when it comes to So you've got various facilities on there, you can record, you can stream and various other things. Well annoyed it got damp. Let's put that aside there. One of my more favourite items was actually made for me. And this is my bag. The bag is a big deal. One of the reasons why it's a big deal, I learned the usefulness of having um, having a, a, a rear bag when I was in the States. It um, This one's filled with poly beads and it's handmade. It's got a bit of weight to it. But I use it from everything, from balancing off the window uh, with the spotting scope to that more accurate long range shot off either off the bonnet or or off uh, other surfaces. It really gives you a steady, steady platform to shoot. Not be the first time I put this on top of a fence or top of a, a feeding heck and uh, taking shots at rabbits at very long range. Uh, with the two the twos next if I can get them out the cabinet a little trusty two two CZ455 fires CZ, uh, CCI ammo just recently changed my ammo from RWS. I usually have a night vision scope on this one but uh, the night vision scope is a way to get fixed from Pulsar. Uh, failed firmware update. We also have here The CZ 452, again in 22LR. It's a great heavy barrel 22 rifle. I don't find the heavy barrel makes much difference to be honest in regards to shooting at all. Um, this is zeroed with RWS. Um, we we'll probably put the CCI through it. Uh, it grips very well. The other piece of equipment that I use quite a lot recently and I have done for a while is my is the Magneto um, chronograph, which is amazingly accurate and it's really helped me in regards to ballistics. So there we go guys. From rifles, to Kestrel Ballistics, to Thermal, to Night Vision Scopes, to even a bag, and various different calibers. To run a bit of success, that's how I manage to do what I do. Thank you for tuning in to uh, Field Sports Scotland and hopefully you enjoyed this little episode and about some of the equipment that I've got. I'll do a further review on the 6.5 Creed more soon. Uh, also give you a kind of bit of idea. I, a lot of guys who have watched my previous videos know exactly what the Browning's capable of and what the 270 is capable of. Um, and Click the
click to to subscribe the little icon to subscribe and thanks for listening to me babbling cheers <laughs>